Hello everyone, this is Eris3, and welcome to part 13 of our Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. Uh, this time we are going to assist with what Admiral Hackett had asked us to help with uh, last time, which is go to Aratot and ra rescue Dr. Amanda Kenson. Miranda wants to see you, Commander. Uh, just let me get my timer started here I, so I don't make this go way too long. Trade a Batarian outpost, river invasion, go to Eratod, which is in the Viper Nebula. Okay. Right, so, as uh, Admiral Hackett mentioned, this is actually a solo mission. This is the Arrival DLC. It's a fun mission. Let's take the arc projector for this one. broken. We've been spotted. Baron. The Tarians must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson too. now. Oh, okay, we can go back up now. Here we go. Seeing those lasers are down. bad. Even for a prison.
Get your hands off me! be useful. So you can actually get an achievement for this if you're stealthy. Could have gone up here. I see. No way it would have worked. We have to make this one an example to the others. We can't respond kindly to the government.
What are you doing? Dr. Kenson? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go! Ready. Should be a security console here somewhere. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. To press the team right to now. cell block now. down their orbital tracking network. Watch the other side. More enemies on the elevators. Bring it down to us. Almost done.
That did it. Let's move. Move to where? Oh, apparently out here. Get to the hangar. Do not let them escape. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. We got him. Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yard. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. How are you caught? We've been smuggling starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. 
I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. How exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reapers' proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Alright, so that's where we're going to end off uh, this episode. That was episode 13 of our Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. I am Eris 3. Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.